Derek there from the post, my channel, Dog Garage Production, and I got my little man here with me. Hi! And today it's just going to be a, an update video on what's going on with my cars. Um, and a, just a quick cleaning. I'm just going to do a whole full interior, exterior cleaning on the car. Uh, show you guys a before and after. Dad. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but way deep out there. Uh, somewhere's over here. You can see the GoPro. Uh, me, uh, my other GoPro. Um, got that from my little brother's buddy, uh, Josh. So I'm going to be trying to do two GoPros at once and see how I can do this edit. So I hope you guys enjoy uh, the video. Can today. you make a song when we're watching the car? Well, we can't have music playing only because if we do, then they're going to come at me for copyright and daddy's not doing it. If you want to make your own music, we can put your music on here. You want to make your own music? Yeah. Alright, so then we can do that. So guys, as I am doing this interior and exterior cleaning, I um, just want to show you the products I use. I actually enjoy using chemical guys. No, I'm not. This is not a sponsored video, I'm just saying. This stuff I use, I also have a big bottle of degreaser. Um, I can show you guys real quick. Um, the degreaser was like 50 bucks. It wasn't that bad of a bottle. I only got it, sorry if it gets dark, just because I'm in the garage. But it's this stuff right here. This is for oof, focus, automotive use, uh, all kinds of stuff, tools and stuff like that. And I also got my shot back. Shot back. So like I said, this is what we'll be using. Little man's just getting ready to uh, fill the bucket up. But he's just having fun here. So you want to show them how to spray the spray the flowers, man? Oh, don't no, don't not so close, dude. No, oh, stop spraying now. You don't have to hit so hard, bro. Okay, okay, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's what you're supposed to do. Did you go super close and spray them? Yeah. Aw, oh, man. After I stop for a second. My own. Oopsie. Can I have a hang? Good light up now? Hold it inside the water. Okay. Nice and clean. Kind of see that I slacked in a couple, couple areas here on this one. 
and then decided to clean my act up myself and uh, do a little bit better. I don't know if this one's any better, but <laughs> I can tell you right now that the other side is completely better. Oh, I got some tire fucking shit on there. Erks, erks. You didn't see that, people. This one's pretty clean. You can see that my rims are a little bit corroded, which I don't mind. I could do that down the road. I got all the stuff for that. Um, so now pretty much the car is almost dry outside. Give you guys a quick update, small update on the cars and why everything's like dismantled again. That one's not dismantled, but it's not healthy. I believe the chain's a little stretched, which is not good. Uh, I'm not driving it hard. Don't drive it hard. Oh, sorry for shaky. Um, like I said, I don't tend to drive it hard. Don't drive it hard at the moment because I want to get a new timing for it. Um, the Honda messed up the subframe, so I have to um, get a new subframe for the car. I would do the EG swap so I could put a K20 in it, but I'm not even there for that. I just want to get the car moving. So if I do put the motor in just to drive it down the road, I don't want the freaking subframe to fall out or the control arm, lower control arm. Sorry, so the lower control arm, one of the bolts that go to the subframe are stripped out, so I can't use it, and I'm not trying to have like the lower control arm fall out. Um. Oh. Alright guys, so you'll you see us struggling. Good. I got the bolt in up there. It was stripped, but like I said, I'm just sending it so I can get this motor put in. I'm just putting these two bolts in right now. Kind of some shitty lighting right here. But I'm just putting these in and then we should be able to drop that motor inside this engine bay so that we can finally get it done or at least out of here done out of here either or don't give a crap so I'll pick you guys up when they are lifting the, the motor into the engine yeah that's that one this right here this tribute I was doing breathing the Blake bleeding the brakes and the nipple fell off or busted off more or less it was the last one all of them are good except for this one um and then when i went to go and change it out because i had the piston for it the line was pretty rotted right here or the thread the piece that you know locks it in because it's like a flange oh, you know what the hell I'm about? but i know what i'm trying to say i already have the whole I got brake line coming so I can do it all. Um, I got the brake flare, like the flare line, the flare kit for the lines. Um, I just got that in. Uh, yeah, having a little bit of nightmare, so I just decided to clean my cars instead. Um, yeah, and I hope you guys enjoy. It's not much, just a small update video. Honda's down because I need to cut the subframe. Mazda Speed Six is not completely down, but I'm hoping it doesn't go down because uh, the timing chain is a little loose. I got turbo chatter, only because my turbo is a little a little on the high side of mileage, but I have an extra one. Just tribute. Just need to do this. Brake job, and I'm pretty much good to go. Just one thing after another, once you fix one thing, it sounds like something always happens. So, please like, comment, and subscribe. I will pick up with you guys soon. It's just a small update video. So once I get some more stuff going, uh, we'll keep going. I do have a couple other small videos of picking up my buddy Speed's my, not Speed, Mazda 6. I'll throw that in right after this video. Um, unfortunately, something happened and I'll explain it in that next video. So please stay tuned and like, comment, and subscribe again. Shake the